Hey Yarnabees, Crochet B here with another edition of Tales from the Carpet Trail brought to you by What's in My Cup. In this case, it's maple flavored whiskey. Why? Because we're Canadian, eh? So the story I have to tell you today is about somebody that I met on Monday. So gather all around, around the campfire, everybody. Let me tell you this. Um, one of the really, really cool things about my job, it's never boring, because every day you run into a new situation or something, um, and you meet some amazing people. Like I have met um, some very wealthy people, I've met some inventors, I've met celebrities, and all kinds of people. And on Monday, I met this fellow right here. So, as you can see, it says centaurs. So, the story is, this man is now 71 years old. And he's moving to Ladysmith, British Columbia uh, from Tawasin, BC. So, like a lot of people, he's leaving the mainland and coming on the island. And what was interesting is, back in 1964, 65, 66, he was members of a rock band out of Vancouver, and they were called the Centaurs. So I just want to read you from the back of this. It says, the Centaurs were one of the top rock bands to come out of Vancouver, Canada in the mid-1960s. With their long hair and bad boy image, they were way ahead of their time in both their sound and style. They left Vancouver seeking fame and fortune and ended up in Holland and Germany where they quickly rose to the top of their game, sharing the stage with some of the biggest groups of the day and gaining thousands of adoring fans. So what happened is during that time that the British invasion was coming here to North America, um, 64, 65, 66, they decided to go to Europe and they became a really big deal in, uh, over in Europe, in Holland and Germany. They toured with uh, people like Golden Earring and Pink Floyd and all sorts of folks. So they had just this wonderful thing going and then they came back to North America and they uh, started to record an album. This album. Now what's interesting about this is after all of the weeks of work was done and they were ready to produce this record, somehow, mysteriously, all of the recording tapes went missing. And nobody knew where these tapes were. So these guys all started fighting about it and sort of pointing the finger at each other and blaming each other. And they ended up having a big fight and the band broke up and these people all went their separate ways all over different parts of the world or whatever. And that was the end of the centaurs. Well, the funny thing is, 53 years went by and about six months ago in Victoria, British Columbia, their old manager from 53 years ago started looking through a bunch of old boxes that he had and lo and behold he actually found the missing tapes so he got a hold of everybody he had to track down and get a hold of everybody in the band and he brought them all back together now sadly the lead singer of the band had passed away but everybody else was still alive and these guys hadn't spoken to each other in uh, 40 50 years so if you think about that and uh, so there's a picture in um, the Vancouver Sun newspaper about this story where they shows them from back in the day and from the way they are today. So they decided that they were going to actually finally release this album 53 years after it was recorded. So if he's telling me this story as I'm cleaning his area rugs for him. And then he gave me a copy of the actual CD and this is it from back in the day 53 years ago and he's told me that I'm going to be back there in about another month or so to do some more work for him. Uh, he's still in the process of moving 
uh, things over from Tawasin, at which point he'll actually have an actual um, vinyl record album uh, of this as well that he's going to have all the guys in the band autograph and give to me as well. So what an amazing story. I can't imagine what it must have been like for those guys to listen to this recording that they made as young lads. He was 16 years old in this picture um, 53 years ago. So when I listen to uh, this music, um, it definitely takes you way back in time. It's early 60s um, pop, a lot of um, a lot of keyboards, a lot of organs. If you're thinking of bands like the um, early Animals, uh, Jerry and the Pacemakers, uh, these kind of groups, this is exactly what these guys uh, sound like. So that was just, I couldn't believe it that uh, that I met this guy and he had this story to tell. And I did ask his permission if he would let me relay this story to you. So if you want to look him up, uh, the name of the band is The Centaurs. You can probably find them, I would imagine, if you Google them. And maybe uh, there's also a link to actually order uh, this this album. I listened to it. It's actually really pretty good. Uh, there's some songs on there that I recognize that they do. Um, and it's just... Uh, it's just an amazing tale. So there you go. That's my story for this week, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed it. And I know it's been a while since I did my last segment. I am sorry. I've been very busy. Uh, things have been hectic. But I will try to keep doing this at least once a week. So bye for now, guys. See you later.